Hello everyone! Welcome to the first episode of Problem Solving Made Easy. I'm Teacher Eileen and today we are going to learn the assumption method. Some of you might find this familiar because your teachers have taught this in school while some of you might be totally new to it. Regardless of whether you are seeing this for the first time, I hope that you'll be able to find something useful along the way. So shall we begin? Okay, since we are going to talk about the assumption method, we need to know what are methods first, right? So I need all of you to think of methods as different ways to solve different problems. Okay, just like how different recipes are different ways to cook different types of food. For example, today, if we want to cook instant noodles, what we do is we boil some hot water and then we put the instant noodles in. Okay, that is the recipe for instant noodles. And then when we want to cook something else, maybe uh, let's say chicken McNuggets, instead of boiling hot water, we heat up the oil so that we can deep fry our nuggets. Okay, so you see, when we cook, we use different recipes for different food. So the same thing goes with math problems. Okay, when we solve these problems, what we do is we use different methods to solve different types of problems. So before we go about solving our problems, what we need to do first is to know what kind of question it is. And then when we know that, we can think of what kind of methods to use to solve them. Okay, so let's take a look at this question. Iron Man made a total of 21 gadgets and masks for $3,340. It cost him $190 to make each gadget and $140 to make each mask. How many masks did he make? When we look at a problem sum, the first tip is don't panic. Okay, although it can sound very complicated, it helps if we break them into small little chunks of info and translate them into different math sentences. I'll show you how we do that. So let's read the first sentence again. Iron Man made a total of 21 gadgets and masks for 3340. So what this means is that the total number of items that he made is actually 21, okay, and it cost him 3340. So we write that down first. Then when we continue reading, it says that it cost him 190 to make each gadget, okay. So by each, it means that every single one of the gadget cost $190, okay. So we write down what we know again. And similarly, for each mask, Okay, so every one mask, okay, it will cost him $140 to make. Okay, so we put that down. Very expensive, right? Not easy to be Iron Man, you know. So after writing these three sentences, we are actually 50% done already. Okay, so for such a question, whereby the total number of two types of items are given. Okay, here the two types of items refer to the gadgets and the mask. Okay, and then when... Each type of item is actually unknown. We don't know how many gadgets Iron Man made, okay, or how many masks Iron Man made individually. And we are also given this thing known as the differentiating quantity. Okay, so what do I mean by the differentiating quantity? Okay, it's something whereby you can compare the two items equally. Here we are able to compare the gadget and the mask, okay, using the same units which is uh, how much each of them cost okay, in dollars. And this will be very useful to us as you will see later. Do you want to guess what method we are going to use to solve this question? Yes, okay. Obviously, we are going to use the assumption method. Now comes the exciting part, where we can see the assumption method in action. What do you understand by the word assumption? The word assumption comes from the word assume, okay, which means to pretend. So now, let's pretend that all the items that Iron Man made were actually gadgets and he didn't make any masks at all. So this means that okay, he made a total of 21 gadgets and then we go on to find the cost of the 21 gadgets. Okay, Here, what we do is to take 21 times the cost of one single gadget which is 190. So this gives us a value of $3,990. So far, so good. Okay, I'm not too sure if any of you noticed something weird here. Okay, because if you were to read the question, earlier on we know that Iron Man spent a total of 3340, correct? But here, 
when we are calculating, we realize that the total cost of 21 gadgets is actually 3990. Okay, so it's far more okay, than what he actually spent. So the next step, what we need to do is to okay, find the difference between our assumption and the actual value that he spent. Okay, so we do that by taking 3990 minus 3340. Okay, and this will give us a value of $650. Alright, so now that we have $650, mm, we have to think of where it comes from. Okay, so this extra value comes from either the gadget or the mask. Okay, so when we go back to the question, we realize that each gadget costs $190, okay, and then each mask costs $140. So we find the difference between one gadget and one mask. Okay, so we realize that when we take $190 minus $140, we will have $50. So each gadget actually costs $50 more than the mask. Okay, so this $50 is exactly the amount that is responsible for the differences okay, in our assumption and the actual value spent. So after finding this, what can we do? We know that Iron Man, okay, made a total of 21 items but these 21 items cannot all be gadgets okay because the amount that he spent will uh, actually exceed what he actually spent so some of them must be mass and in order to find the number of mass what we do is to replace each gadget with a mask okay so if each gadget costs 190 dollars every time i replace one gadget with one mask, I will actually lower the cost by $50. Am I right? Okay, do you get it? So in order to find the number of masks made, all we need to do is to take the difference between our assumption and actual, which is 650, okay? Then divide it by the difference between the cost of one gadget and one mask. And this will give us a value of 13 masks, okay? And this is our answer.